there starting off we've got uh, that's like a couple of very small 2 by 4 scraps uh, knocked apart with an axe. They kind of cover the, the wood gas hole so I don't know if I'm going to be regretting this or not. Uh, in the lower right you see a cotton ball that's been impregnated with a little bit of vegetable oil and I've got a fire steel and I'm going to get this going. I can't film and start this at the same time, sorry. Well, that vegetable oil on the cotton ball did not work. It needs to be Vaseline, that's what, the, that's what they recommend. Uh, Vaseline just burns so much longer and uh, <clears throat> I had a paper towel that I brought with me to clean my fingers from the vegetable oil and I was able to get this little twig fire started with that. So it appears that the twig fire has burned hot enough now that uh, the 2x4 pieces underneath is starting to catch and it's actually making wood gas even though I thought I had covered those holes up so uh, we're starting now I'm going to turn this off and start a timer it's a little over a, a pint of water I put it on I don't know about a minute ago and uh, I don't have a windscreen it's a little breezy today so I'll just have to see but that has really got a roaring fire on it and we'll see how it goes. I've seen uh, this guy go with uh, pellets and the flames are leaping up like three, three, four feet up in the air. It's, it's a good little fire now. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, and we'll see how long it takes to boil this water. It's not very scientific. I think it's like somewhere around a pint or more. Uh, See. Eh, that's that's more than a pint. But anyway. Let's see how it goes. The wood gas seems to be fully engaged now. It's been a couple of minutes. Uh that is really there's a ripper on. Uh yeah, I think it's burning entirely the two by fours now. And I'll I'll see if I can uh tell you when the boil is going and then also uh, how long that stacking of wood lasts. Roll and boil as you can see and it, 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 I noticed it about 638 so it was over a pint of water and it boiled it in six, 6 minutes 38 seconds. It's, it's a pretty amazing fire so I, I, it doesn't shock me that it only took 6 minutes or 638. So, Take this off, make my tea, and then uh, keep timing on the uh, on my timer, and see how long this burn lasts. The nine minute mark, uh, still going pretty full tilt. I'm looking down into uh, what I did is I started a small twig fire on top of all that the two by four pieces, and then it caught downward. It did not take long at all once the fire caught. So uh, I less than a minute, 30 seconds maybe, uh, and boy it's going full blast right now, uh, yeah, that's about what, nine and a half minutes, we'll see how long it goes. Okay, we're at the 12 minute mark, this guy's still going full crank here, and you can look up, and you really don't see any smoke whatsoever, I've seen a little white smoke at the, I don't know, first six or eight minutes just a very small amount of white smoke uh, and I think it was because the wood was still burning down from the top uh, I noticed with these wood gas fires that when you add new wood it'll smoke a little bit uh, and then as it starts doing this full bore uh, wind, wood gas uh, production sorry word was escaping me uh, Boy, look at that, those flames are coming up really nice. It's uh, about two feet, at times two and a half feet. And uh, the wood's crushing down pretty good. I don't know how much longer this is gonna go, but uh, it's really, man, it's really cranking. We're at the 15 minute mark. The wood gas is coming out of primarily the left side there. 
Uh, and I think it's getting close to being towards the end of this fire. I don't know, 15 minutes so, we'll see. I have added no no wood since starting it. So, there we go. 16.30, the, there's still a little bit of flame. It's absolutely clear, blue flame, kind of, I think. I, I can see little traces of flame in there. Minute mark. Now, just so you know, uh, one of the things I really like about this particular stove is it's got a large opening at the front, so if you wanted to add more wood, you could. Uh, and that's what you'll need to do. This is a, this is a good size stick. It's about I think about uh, three and a half, three and a quarter inches long, uh, and it's about oh I don't know three quarters of an inch diameter. So this would be an excellent stick to add at this point. You could add two or three of those, and this thing could keep going indefinitely. So if you have you're making a batch of chili and want to cook it for an hour or something like that, it's no problem. Uh, I mean, 20 minutes is we're adding no fuel, and it's still kind of maintaining a kind of a, a, a light boil. Uh, you, there's not much you can't cook in 20 minutes uh, of the of the camping food variety, but uh, yeah, if you want to make some soups and stews and stuff like that, stuff that has to cook for an hour or two or something like that, you're going to have to do some tending, but uh, that's still a pretty amazing little stove for 13 bucks. I think that's what it was shipped. Maybe 14 somewhere in there. 13 dollars $14. Amazing. This is the Rory Tory stove, by the way. Alright. I'll keep going. I'm going to wait until the, the, the water stops uh, simmering. The water's still steaming. I saw a bubble just a few seconds ago. It's the 30 minute, oh, I'm sorry, 35 minute mark. And, uh, wow.